got uh, three uh, wonderful directors here at OC Tanner, and they have a number of group leader managers that report to them in a variety of different uh, product groups. And we're, we're talking about the uh, group leader manager role and what that looks like. So uh, let's let's talk about what uh, what you feel like makes a great uh, group leader manager and what is the role? What makes a, gr a great manager? Well, maybe I'll start off by just saying uh, the number of things that can make a great manager or group leader are substantial. And it doesn't have to take the same set for each one. And I think that's important for leadership overall is that a leader develops their own style. But I think we can talk a little bit more about what we see as signs of great leadership or the impacts we might notice on the team from great leadership. And I think that's maybe a little bit more appropriate. Um, and there are certainly characteristics or behaviors that we know accelerate a person's leadership. So some would say that the, this manager role, this group leader position, it helps define the culture of the company. Whenever there's a survey that's done, it seems like this leader is at the pinnacle of what represents that culture. So talk about talk about how a group leader influences a culture. Well, yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll speak a little bit on that, Josh. I um I think you know even back to your your first question, uh, what makes a good group leader or what makes a good leader in general? Um, yes, their impact on culture is huge, right? But uh, I would say what makes a good leader uh, is one that deeply cares and takes the time to understand and get to know their people. Uh, if that's not the foundation that you're building on, it's going to be a wash, it's going to be phony, it'll be fake, and the people, we, we see right through that, right? And so I think that's the foundation that we're huge on here at OC Tanner, is, is build that foundation of respect for every individual and leading with humility. The leader is not the go-to eagle that swoops in and saves the day and everybody just turns to the leader every time there's an issue. No, uh, that is, that's actually the opposite of what we want. Uh, as Tyson mentioned, we want servant leadership. And uh, you get servant leadership when you, you ask questions, when you seek to understand, when you care deeply about your people. And so I think that's a characteristic that it's gotta be built on, it's gotta be there. And honestly, there, there are days or there are times as leaders that, man, you're having an off day, right? And you might even need to re, you know, have a reset. And I, I think Gary's even told me this in days where he's in the parking lot and he's like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I need to be at work today. I'm, I'm not in the right space. And uh, I think we as leaders, uh, no matter the level, I think we all take ownership in the culture we have here, uh, even the team members. Um, but I think it's especially important for the leaders to, to have that mindset of, hey, am I here to serve? Is that my purpose? And am I building that foundation of respect and trust with my team? And if you are, boom. Like you, you and the team are gonna have a fantastic heyday. Uh, all the other stuff is strategic and some tactical and, and you know, some tough conversations, but build it on that foundation and there's great things that'll come. Oh, that's great insight. Thank you for sharing. Hermana? Uh, so for me, um, group leader or manager position, it, it has a lot of responsibility that it carries. Um, so our group leaders or managers are responsible for um, production. But at the same time, um, having this um, right um, um, skill and talents of um, and passion for people is, I think, what makes all of the difference. Because um, we don't want our leader to believe that they have to hold all of the answers. It's okay not to have the answer because I think when we have that mentality, it's easier to connect with people um, through empathy, um, through um, just building that trust of where we are all learning together and growing together. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see how the results could be delivered, production results, unless we have this culture that is developed primarily through our group leadership um, or managers. I'll add to that in terms of structurally the way we look at a group leader. We have the team members who do the value add work, and that'll be the same for any organization. And then typically what you'll see is a shift lead or a line lead or, or kind of this um, person that helps ensure the work gets out the door, coordinate the daily work, and help focus on team members improving specifically their skills as, as it's exercised 
against that value at work. And then the manager role for us, we see as that person who sets the environment and conditions in which those things happen. And so um, this difference between having the answers versus setting conditions in which it's a healthy environment and the team can make good decisions and make improvements and grow and equipping that team with what they need to be successful. So, so the group leader really focuses on, as they achieve stability within that line by having local resources, they focus on the inputs that are coming into that team. They have a tenacious and genuine interest in every team member's health and development and growth, not just as a value add worker, but as an individual and how they're impacting and growing themselves um, in relation and context to, to their world. So they, they're, they're available for that type of coaching and they connect those team members, not just to their daily work, but to the organization's purpose and how it exists to impact society, value, and contribute to, to things as they grow. I think one of the phrases we kick around here a lot and even reviewed for an entire year was uh, we believe everybody has intrinsic value and untapped potential. And that's kind of the heart of what Tyson's talking about is, hey, if, if you truly believe that, like you're going to take the time to get to know them. Like It's going to excite you. It'll make you curious to find out what is it inside of this person that is unique and, and beautiful. And uh, let's find it and then explode it. Exploit it, not explode. Exploit it. And, uh, and, and, and benefit everybody, including that, especially that individual as they, as they shine, right? I think that's a big deal. So Gary talks a lot about um, the team's results and their deliverables is, is uh, mirrors the, uh, the effectiveness of the leader. You know, how effective a leader is has a direct impact on how the team is able to perform their function. Uh, any thoughts on that topic? We had a question the other day in a interview. We were interviewing some, mm -hmm. some newer candidates. And I, I think she had asked, what does success look like in the role? Mm -hmm. You know, I think Adam had some comments. Do you remember that question? Yeah, I do. And, and, and it, was, uh, it, was, it kind of took me off guard a little bit. I was like, OK, this should be an, a, a, a question I should have expected, right? Um, but as, as she asked it, and we had a chance to just even think and reflect on it, uh, I think success in the group leader role uh, is, it's, yes, there are definitely, we want hard business um, measurables, right? Profit margin increase and cost savings, uh, shipping on time. Like, th that's the basic, right? Um, but success, and I think you even mentioned this, Tyson, is when you walk into a Gemba, you do a Gemba visit into a team, and there is energy and there's excitement and they can't wait to grab you and say, dude, Adam, check this out. Like, look at this. The first five times we ran this, it failed. And then look what we're seeing right here. And there's that energy. That is something you can't hardly, like you can't, you know, measure it from one to 10. But man, you can feel it when you go in there. And uh, that I feel like is a huge indicator that we actually use here is, hey, there's a ton of excitement and energy for continuous improvement, for experimenting, for it's okay to fail and share those failings uh, with the, the team and to laugh about them, right? Because that's part of the learning process and we celebrate and recognize and view that as a huge success if there's that, that culture, that environment in the team. I feel that as we, we talk about this um, notion of failing and it's okay to make mistakes if we learn from them, created this culture that we have where people are really happy to be engaged. Mm -hmm. And our leaders, uh, group leaders or managers who are on the floor who are helping develop our team members really are the, the main source of that energy. Oh, yeah. They're the ones that motivate, that allow for the environment to thrive. And it's something unique, I think, that OC Tanner has. Um, and, and it also provides, in my mind, this safe environment, not just for making mistakes, but a lot of our people comes to work to get away from maybe challenges mm -hmm. that they have at home. And knowing that this is the environment that will help them try, that will make them feel happy, that it, it will make them feel like they're making a difference. Um, and, and that's and one of safe. the... And it's safe, and it's one of the best indicators 
of what the group with Earl is. Um, and it's not uncommon to hear when we have a tours, people talking about how um, just being part of Lusitana or supply chain actually changed their lives. Mm -hmm. And not just here, like it's almost like there is this um, boost of emotional intelligence and mm -hmm. you know uh, learning soft skills and applying and confidence, confidence, and applying it outside of yeah. the company. And I mean, what a better indicator of the good work that managers are doing than just looking at the people on the floor. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. It's been uh, great to meet with you today and, and to get your insights on the the manager role and how it influences our team members uh, and how to find success in your culture. Uh, to check out more content like this, uh, go to our channel and there'll be uh, other videos related to modern leadership uh, that Gary likes.